Okay, Shalom, Shalom, it's the brother Kadash. We want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakak Kadash. This is going to be a quick video of a correction that I needed to make. <clears throat> we had a um, it's a Carlite brother or Latino brother come down to our camp, you know, and he was a Catholic and he wanted to go back and forth on some things, you know. It really wasn't even a back and forth. It was just, you know, us kind of teaching him. He wanted to see some of the things that you know that we teach you know so we told him from the bible you know it was a lot of based off his feelings and what he think as we were coming as it is written of course from the bible but one of the things came up with the queen because you know um with the whole queen thing and he was worshiping mary um he had a picture of mary in his bible but he said that that wasn't considered him worshiping mary and stuff like that but this was a graven image you know it was a, a mary looking like an edomite so it wasn't her true image. She had a crown on. She had nine stars over her head instead of 12 stars over her head. And he he pointed at Revelations 12 to say that that was talking about Mary, but it's not. It's talking about Israelite. The, is, the is, Hebrew Israelites, which are the wife of the Lord, where the Lord comes from, you know, the tribe of Judah. You know, but um, the one thing, a mistake I did make was talking, to, I said Esther was, wasn't called the queen. And she was called the queen, but she never, she's not a queen over the Israelites, even though um, you could say that she was queen over the Israelites during that time. Because she was like married to the king of that time. You just see what I'm saying? But, our, but the point still stands that our women aren't called queens. You see what I'm saying? So, you taking... A picture so the picture should have had Yahweh Shai in the middle of it with 12 crowns around his head like well Revelations 1 talks about the seven um, stars around his head not crowns and with a crown on his head because he's the king right he's the king of Judah so the king of the Jews he should have been in a picture with a crown over his head even though you're still not supposed to have that you know because they had Mary looking like an Edomite woman but Pretty much you're putting Mary in the place of the Lord because the Lord is nowhere to be found in the picture. And you can see this from the um, our last camp video, um, Hebrew Israelites versus the um, Catholics. So that picture got Mary stepping on a serpent. Like, that's Yahweh Shai role is to conquer the wicked, the Satan, the devil, not Mary. And Yahweh Shai is nowhere in the picture, so you can't even try to use that. So it was kind of like... Man, this is you worshiping a woman. You don't understand that you're doing it because you're being deceived by the Catholic Church. So this is Jeremiah 44. I wanted to make that correction that um, Esther was called the queen, you know, but um, we didn't have queens in, in the nation of Israel. They, they, they're they princesses, princes, princesses and kings, you know, um, Jeremiah 44. And this is what this goes back to verse. 18 ain't no you know we ain't perfect you know but the points does still stand but um you know sometimes there's a slip of the tongue you know but verse 17 but we will certainly do whatsoever thing go forth out of our own mouth to burn incest into the queen of heaven so the queen is a bad thing you saying mary is the queen and you putting her over all other women and saying that she's the queen that's the same thing as saying she's the queen of heaven and to part because you got her portraying as if um she's stepping on a certain serpent and you can see that in um in that in that video or camp versus him it says in the part i'll drink offerings until her he said that she's her his inspiration this is worshiping and we have done and we and our fathers and our kings and our princes and cities of judah and in the streets of jerusalem for then had we had we plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil but since we left off to burn incense to the queen of heaven and to pour our drink offerings into her we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine and we have burned incense to the queen of heaven and poured our drink offerings into her did we make her cakes to worship her and pour our drink offerings into her like the catholic church does without our man then Jeremiah said unto all the people, to the man and to the woman and to all the people which have given him that answer, saying, The incest that ye burned in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem, ye and your fathers, your kings and your princes, and the people of the land did not 
the Lord remembered him and came into, uh, came it into his mind so that the Lord could no longer bear because of the evil of your doings and because of the abominations which ye have committed. Therefore is your land destined in an astonishment and a curse without inhabited as it as at this day. And um, it's saying because ye have burned incest, because ye have sinned against the Lord and have not obeyed the voice of God, nor walked in his way, in, in his law, nor his statutes, nor in his testimonies. Therefore, the evil has happened unto you as this day. So it's just saying that it's a bad thing to um to burn these incest, right? And to um and to worship a queen of heaven. You know, that's not the way of our people um never was so that's pretty much the point um you know but it was it was sad at the same time to see how that brother's being deceived you know his his mother named him esau but named his brother jacob he showed me his id his name is esau so it's just completely crazy man how the brother's being deceived um his all his understanding goes back to a catholic church goes back to you know different Edomite scholar, white man scholars that he looks up to, that he follows. You know, you you um he said that it was a good thing that the Catholics conquered the Aztecs because they were being wicked. It was a good thing that um they came over and led his people into slavery and stuff like that. As if the Catholics were righteous, you know, and they were doing the Lord's work. But in a way, the Lord sent them against them. But the Catholics are wicked people too, man. Devils. You see what I'm saying? And and um, it's just it's just sad to see how some of our people was just, you know, lost in that, you know, and and, and you know when the MOTB comes, you know, a lot of our people, you know, they're gonna they're gonna go for the MOTB because the, who they're following, you know, so everybody ain't gonna be able to get it, and that's just is what it is, you know what I mean? So we just try our best to teach our people if they don't want to take it, they don't want to take it. We coming from the Bible. They look down on us because we on the highways and byways teaching the Lord's word, but then they look up to these men they never met that's sitting up there telling fucking lies that same people conquered your people. You see what I'm saying? But it's crazy, but that's just how it always been, so you can't take it personal. It's always been that way with the prophets out there teaching, you know. The people who look down on them like they were nothing, like they were shit, and then they want to worship and follow these famous men and stuff like that, you know, but it ain't for everybody at the same time, it's for the elect, he gonna find out when the end comes, he gonna find out the truth, and he gonna think back on when he ran into the Hebrew Israelites, and he gonna say, man, dang, they were right, they were telling me the truth, and then at that moment, if he bows down, maybe the Lord have mercy on him, and if he don't, and he bucks up against the truth, then he gonna be destroyed, and that just is what it is, you know what I mean, so, uh, we called out some things. We pointed out some things. We tried to correct the brother. We um, we went through the Bible, uh, answered plenty of his questions with the Bible, of course, as it is written. And, um, you know, we just prayed to the Lord. Um, I told him to do some research on prophecy. See, I love prophecy because we don't have to argue about our feelings. We could go to Revelations 21 and we could just go like the verse 12, for example. We know who inherited the kingdom because that's a prophecy and it's telling you who inherited the kingdom. There was 12 gates for the 12 tribes of Israel. And there's so many other precepts. You see what I'm saying? When you're dealing with prophecy, it tells you Isaiah 14 is a prophecy. Deuteronomy 30 is prophecy. So these things are telling you who is Isaiah 61 is prophecy. You see, so we didn't even get to go into all that. I hope he comes back. So we can, you know what I mean? And I told him to do some research on his people and the customs of his people, you know, before they were Mexicans, when they were Aztecs, even before that, so he could see the similarities with um, his people and like the customs of Israel because his people are of is of, of Israel or Israelites. You see what I'm saying? So maybe that'll take him down the road and open his eyes up to some of the things. You say you're a Catholic church. I mean, you say you a Catholic. The Lord never called himself a Catholic. You, we supposed to walk in the way of the Lord. Why, why are we calling ourselves Catholic? You see, why are you calling yourself Catholic? The Lord didn't call himself Catholic. And that goes even bigger, even with the with the camps of the Hebrew Israelites you see today. You know, some camp might call themselves IUIC. The Lord didn't call himself IUIC. So why are you calling yourself IUIC? Why, just call yourself a Hebrew Israelite. But that's a whole deeper story, though. But that's a fact, though. We supposed to um, we supposed to follow the Lord, right? And we supposed to desire to be like the Lord or strive to be like the Lord the best we can to follow the Lord ways the best we can. I'm gonna call myself what the Lord call himself. Hebrew, um, the Israelite covenant oil. That's just a 
title for a channel. Anybody asks us who we are, we're going to say we're Hebrew Israelites. You see what I'm saying? But some brothers get too caught up in those things, you know? So it's just what it is. All you could do is you can't really force nobody to the sun. All you could do is get them a word. And if they take it, they accept it, then that's a blessing. If they don't, maybe it's not time. Maybe a year, maybe two, three years down the road, they'll finally get it. They'll finally hit them. Or maybe they just never going to get it. And it ain't for them. You know, the scriptures talk about um, if they persecute you in one city, just flee to another city. It, it talks about those things, you know? So that's all you could do is the best you could do. So, but the queen of heaven and the worship and the woman shit, that shit gotta stop. You see what I'm saying? Like, we know in math in the book of Matthews, the angel was dealing with Mary because she was pregnant with the Lord. After the Lord was born, the angel was addressing Joseph. Joseph, take the Lord and flee to Egypt. You see what I'm saying? It was about that. Then it was just simply Mary just it was it was done, you know, then it was all about the Lord. You see what I'm saying? So we only have we only have to we worship the Lord, not the Lord in Mary. You see, so that whole stuff is sickening and it's just show you that the people are being deceived, but there is a truth out there, you know, and the truth will prevail at the end with that. I'm gonna say salvation to the election.